We must live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Our city recently had a uh, horrific fire downtown Lovell. The community came together, rallied around those affected. So many were generous with their time, money, and the love and the pride for our community was on full display. Sadly, all this positive, loving energy disappears second and fourth Tuesdays every month. And the love in our community turns many times to hatred. Why is this so? Because you disagree with someone's politics? Because you don't like someone? Why can't there be civil discussion rather than personal attacks? And community agitators infiltrating our city and spreading lies. This vitriolic rhetoric has now taken an even darker turn threats against a city council member. With recent violence against members of Congress and others, this can't be ignored nor tolerated. Most troubling is the threat was posted by an individual on a member of this council's Facebook page. Equally troubling, this member has made no effort to admonish this person. Point of order made the threat. His colleagues, uh, to against his colleague, he also did not immediately remove the post from his page, including other comments uh, made in support of this post. Point of order. This tacit approval, and it is not behavior becoming an elected representative. Mr. Weisgerber, minimum, you should be sanctioned. However, before all this discussion about resignation, you're the one who should resign. And give me a you regard, your, you regard yourself as a leader. I am, and our actions are not acceptable. On. You are contributing to this min I misinformation clear and innuendo circulating throughout our city. Of and you have routinely, routinely impugned the reputations of our citizens who volunteer their time and selflessly serve our city. You have created and fueled a toxic environment in our city, spawning threatened violence. I'm asking, this member to, I'm asking will not let you, this community, to step back and reflect on the future of our city. Love is on the precipice of great things. If we do not continue to move forward, our window of opportunity will close. The momentum created coupled with the city's economic growth, financial stability, and quality of life will be squandered. The city will begin to move backwards, and it could take decades to recover. If you really care about this city, then stop tearing it apart. Point of President Lincoln said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Mayor, I move to Point. adjourn. Second. Point of order. Is uh, roll call? Should be discussion, sir. Point of order. Point of order. A motion to adjourn is not debatable. Ms. Cheshire, call the roll, please. Mayor Fitzgerald. Yes. Ms. Rose. Yes. Mr. Phelps. No. Vice Mayor Sattel. Yes. Mr. Weisgerber. No. Mr. Zemias. Yes.
that include about 20 people who have spoken against her. An individual made a statement that I don't believe was threatening, but it's not my call. Shame on you. So, so I had a clear discussion with the chief, and I will read the letter that I sent back to the chief after our conversation, if you want to listen. Chief Ray, thank you for the conversation yesterday on the perceived threats and actions to consider. I'm continuing to think about the actions I can, and more importantly, should take in this specific instance. By the way, I sent this today because the call was yesterday. I understand Pam's concerns, and I'm strongly against hate or threatening speech, yet I will not censor free speech. Having said that, I don't see what was said as a threat, but that's not my call. If what was said violates Facebook rules, then Facebook needs to take action. If the prosecutor's office determines the statements are a threat, then I look to the appropriate authorities to take action. If you feel, as the chief, the Loveland PD should insert itself, insert its authority with the offending individual to investigate or have a conversation, then I leave that decision in your hands. Inserting myself to take on other organizations' responsibility or censor free speech is not what I feel I should be doing. If I do repost a request to this person or others to use prudent language, then by default I will highlight the rhetoric that we are trying to avoid. I will commit to addressing these types of comments in the future at the time they are made. I am open to other suggestions. I look forward to our considered conversation on the topic. Two things. One, this is a blatant personal attack. Two, I do ask you as individuals and residents of the city to use prudent language. Let's do what's right for the community, but not incite, not make personal attacks, because we are, very honestly, we're seeing personal attacks happen at the table. Am I innocent in all this? I'll let you be the judge. I got a suggestion. They don't want our meeting. We do. Let's give it. Let's give our speeches to these people that care. It won't be part of the record. It won't be on this record. It'll be on Dave's record right there. We can't take any action. We've got right. that. And, and so we've got to be, we can so we can talk about issues and we can talk about topics. Okay? Yeah. But what we can't do is we can't hear everyone's opinion. And if I sit here, Neil, and have the conversation with three of us, then I'm just as bad as the others that don't want to hear others' opinions. I've got to have everybody's opinions to have a valid debate. And so I, I respect and I, I appreciate what you're saying. I don't think we should do that because I think we should have everyone's opinion. In other words, you should have a full council to, to have opinions. With, all of council should participate in having an yes. open dialogue and opinion. Did you ask the city solicitor, since it is part of the rules of council and the charter, that a meeting be held? And if this is legal, uh, is there are people here to talk tonight, people prepared for it? And I don't think this is a legal situation. Yeah, I, all I can do is, without any formal action, was ask the solicitor to look at it in 10 minutes. Thank you. Uh, there's only three people here. I, I can't take any action. There's only three people here. So generally speaking, to give the solicitor a formal action, it takes a vote of the majority of council. So we can't give him. Back. So we can't give him a formal action to do. As a taxpayer, I ask the city solicitor, we have not had a meeting. We had, we had, uh, not even a roll call. We have not had a roll call. We had a, a disjointed speech from the mayor. However, this meeting has not been adjourned properly. It has to be adjourned directly, and there has to be public business. Let's get the call to you. So the question is, are they coming back? Is it just a temporary adjournment? No, they are. They're So there, this is mute. Moot point. Until None of this is going to happen. It'll have to get it on. It's a show that will be marked for the next meeting. It's a meeting. It's a meeting because the call to order is going to be adjourned. They call the order. They call the order. They call the order. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good, good gas. Yeah, we are.